Hi, I'm Nancy, and this is my cat Molly. Molly was a rescue found in the valley. She's almost all gray. I got her at four weeks, so we used to have to take her everywhere because we were too afraid to leave her at home with the other two cats. So she went like to the Hollywood Bowl, she went to acting classes, she went to my gynecologist. So she was always going with us. She was sort of a superstar little kitty. And as she got older, she began to get this feral behavior, which of course she was a feral cat to begin with. Well, I, her nickname is Fat Molly Cat. And I walk around and I go, Fat Molly Cat. Because she's just this big, angry beast. My housekeeper is afraid of her. My mom had to go to the doctor because she bit her hand and then she wouldn't let go. And she, She's the devil. I mean, she's the freaking devil. <laughs> she has a few disturbing issues. She goes to the bathroom outside the litter box. And the other thing is she chews like every single cord in the house. Tearing off, uh, you know, pieces of, of, of cloth from my clothing, you know, just, you know, eating my shoelaces. The main issue that's really bad with Molly is since I have a new cat that's a year and two months, Molly attacks her really badly. And it got to the point where she scratched her so bad that it went in, it tore, went, her, the cut went all the way down to the muscle. It could be territorial. It could be just that she's trying to find her, her, her alpha dominant. It's easy to love this cat. It's hard to love that one. So this cat gets a lot more love and attention, and Molly gets none because like, she's, 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 so, she's a threat. When you take on an animal, they're your child, and you know, you just, you just love them. You know she has problems, but she's, she's a, just a, your child with problems, and you love them. What I would love for the animal communicator to help let me know about Molly, is there a way like to get a feral animal to sort of let go of its feral tendencies? I just want her to stop being a danger. You know, I'd rather have people come over and my friends and not have to, oh, by the way, don't pet the gray cat, she'll bite you. Best case scenario, she could actually communicate with Molly and know exactly what's going on and, and hopefully Molly won't say, well, I want to be an only child. <laughs>